Residents at this elder care facility in the Malaysian city of Pataling Jaya are encouraged to keep active. There's music and board games. And with all the activity, caregivers keep a watchful eye to make sure no one falls or injures themselves. Behind the scenes, there's an extra layer of protection with a system run by artificial intelligence. Five of the 18 residents at this facility use AI to keep track of their safety. The elderly residents are monitored around the clock with cameras and sensors to detect movement. Click to Health, which operates the facility, says the AI system helps improve its elderly care services. The AI is providing one-to-one -one CEDAR monitoring system for the residents. If this job is being done by a caregiver, the cost will be much higher than what we have been invested into Smart Pit. Most of our residents don't mind and they are happy because someone is watching. All this is done with the consent of the residents' families. The home says some family members did have concerns about privacy. We give reassurance to the family members. This is only for monitoring purpose and not for any other use. And we also uh, reinforce and emphasize to the family members it's better to engage the system to prevent fall rather than too late. Malaysian startup SmartPeep provides the elderly sitter system for Heritage Senior Care Centre. It began doing trials in 2018 and saw its breakthrough in 2019 after a few hits and misses. We are trying to actually tackle um, the shortage of caregivers uh, in a lot of nursing homes because um, a lot of falls that happen, a lot of bit sore injuries, or even seniors with dementia when missing from the nursing homes, right? A lot are happening because of they do not have enough caregivers to actually uh, watch over the seniors. There are 15 facilities in Malaysia, Singapore, and Australia that currently use SmartPeep. South Korea and Japan are potential targets for expansion. Our alert system is currently around 97% um, with uh, almost no mis detection and with a few uh, false alarms for every site, every day. So that's, that's how accurate we are currently. In the hospitals who, who are actually uh, going into a commercial contract with us, um, they see a huge reduction in falls after using our system. Uh, the first year is about 50%, 60%. The second year, it can go up to 80% where the nurses are really familiar with how the system is working. People aged 65 and over now make up 7.3% of Malaysia's 32.7 million population. By 2040, the proportion of elderly is expected to double to over 14%. So companies like SmartPeep are trying to address pain points in this growing market for elder care. For some of the nursing homes, uh, they may be already using human to monitor the seniors 24-7. Uh, um, and they think that is, is, is everything is okay. But in fact, it's not because the caregiver, most of the time, they will be staring at their mobile phone rather than the screen itself. And it's also a privacy uh, question. So for some nursing homes, we also found that uh, they are using restraints, physical restraints, medical restraints, to reduce the activity of the seniors so that there is no fall in the nursing home. And uh, since there, there are no family members complaining, they feel it, it, it's okay. But it's, it's at the expense of the dignity of the seniors. SmartPeep is now looking at how data from the AI monitoring system can further improve elderly care. It's also developing a system for home use. We are talking about not just wearable uh, sensors. Huh? We are talking about sensors that are non-intrusive. They could be plugged onto the wall, uh, somewhere in your house, and uh, it would be able to use uh, different technologies like sound waves or sonic uh, to detect uh, some of the vital sets of us. And in that sense, I think it makes uh, the whole environment much more age-friendly. 
While many remain wary about having their personal data captured in a machine, such information may be crucial to healthy ageing. It is the best option to create personalised care and independence for older person because as they know of their condition better through AI's uh, information, analysis and prediction of their condition, they will be able to uh, move away from the clinical and cure to predictive health and better management of health before something uh, happens to their body. And it's not just physical health that can benefit from AI. This social robot that can be taught to recognise patterns and voice can also help boost the elderly's mental health. We talk about longer health span, um, so that if somebody has a longer life of 100 years old, they will be able to enjoy their life as much as possible and uh, they are empowered by technology um, to be independent, uh, to have better control of their life so that they don't have to rely on other people, right? We are giving the voice back to the older person uh, and make them feel empowered that growing old is not a bad thing, it's a good thing and technology is here to help you.